Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. Welcome back to the channel. Today, this has arrived and hopefully this is gonna be the answer for attaching large lenses to your Canon EOS R onto the Ronin SC, but we'll see in a sec. Play it back like a million times because they know that you're the absolute, the original. Right, so before we have a look at what's in here, and it is from Small Rig, so that'll give you a bit of a clue. Do you know, if you keep going north, you will eventually end up going south. However, if you keep going east, you'll never ever in your life end up going west. Right, let's get this little baby open then. There's a few things in here today, um, but what I'm not gonna do is go through all of them. It'll be for another video. That's the uh, L bracket for the um, EOSR. We'll do that another day though. This is the one we're interested in, plus these little babies. I believe they're the counterweights. And hopefully this is gonna be the answer to bouncing the EOS R with a big lens on here. So let's get them open. So in here should be the small rig counterweight bracket for the Ronin SC. Let's have a look. Get them open. Yep, there she is. Nice packaging from small rig, isn't it? And in there, you've got a little Allen key, which is very important to keep hold of. Okay, that one. And also, you've got the balancing plate, and this is the piece that's going to make a difference. First impressions, it actually looks, I think, to be honest with you, better than the actual running one, which is hard to believe, I know. So let's see it balance on the actual bracket. All right, before I do that, let's have a look in here. These should be the counterweights, I hope. Okay, I'll keep the boxes. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a really big one. What's that? Jeez, 200 grams. Didn't know I'd ordered one that big. Anyway, it'll help, I'm sure. We've got one there. That's a 100 gram one. Another 200. I think these should be the little ones, hopefully. Yeah, that's the little ones. Right, let's go on with it then. Right, so, you're gonna need the old plate off the Ronin SC, the actual one. You'll need a very small, fine, posy screwdriver and the Allen key that comes with a piece of kit. The other thing you'll notice is that this looks a little bit bigger and a little bit um, higher than that one. However, it will fit, I've already tried that. Okay, so first thing you need to do so that you don't um, forget about the measurements is this one. So on the Ronin itself, it's actually got a very small posy screw in there, which if you undo, you can hopefully slide him out like so. All right, now I'd put that straight back in because I know what I'm like, I'll lose it. So we'll put that one in, in a bit. Then what you need to do is take the hand key on this one, okay, and actually undo that. Now the thing is, you have to undo it fully before you can slide this measurement piece back in, which actually then slots on there nicely. And like I said earlier on, it's well machined this, and those weights, after looking at them, these here, you know, they're unbelievably machined, and they are really, really good quality. So all you people who say, oh, I don't like third party gear, well, small rig, it's the first time I've ever bought their gear and I've paid for this all myself, they haven't asked me to do this. It actually looks amazing and I think it's better quality than the Ronin SC, which is bloody hard to believe seeing as good quality that is. Right, so that's it all fitted on there, nice and smooth. All right, what we do, okay, just see these. So what they do is they fit into here. Yeah, and you can do that with them. You can put them all over the place to counterweight it and so on and so forth. I'll probably try and stick them in the middle and keep as little as possible on there as I can. So what I'm gonna do, rather than um, play around with it, is um, get it balanced for you and then show you the measurements. But before I do, let's have a look at how easy this is to fit onto here. So, unlock that. Put it on there, hopefully you can see it from the side. All right, and he just goes in nice and smooth, like so. Oh, helps if I undo the bottom plate, doesn't it? Oopsie doopsie, little mistakes I always make, eh? There you go, 
on there and we'll do that one up. Right, back in a sec with the um, actual EOS R, which is this camera here. Okay, so this is what we're gonna try and test it on. It's the Canon EOS R with the 24 to 105 um, kit lens that comes with it because that's the one that everybody's having problems with with the Ronin SC. Hopefully this is going to work but what I'm not going to do is show you how I do that because that will bore you to tears and it'll probably take a good hour or so. So we'll be back in a sec and I'll give you the results. Stay tuned. Right now then as you can see here I've just spent the last ooh, good hour and a half trying to balance this and you can see that's just missing all right as is the back ones here. That's with a 200, a 200, and a 100 on the back. But, as you can see, it isn't well balanced. And when I run it through the Ronin app, okay, on here, you'll see what I mean. So, I'll just start the gimbal up for a sec, and then we'll go through it. Now, it's not to say this won't be any good for the R or any of the other lenses on here. This is just the initial test with it. All right, so, Looks pretty well balanced, but I can hear the motors and they're actually struggling a little bit. So if I auto tune it, which I always do once we connect it again, how come every time I film this, I forget to connect it? <laughs> so let's get this one done. Go on to the parameters, do the auto tune, press OK. Do this little wiggly bit. And once it's auto tuned, I'll do the balance test and then you'll see the results on here. Now it looks balanced, it sounds like it's balanced, but you probably can't hear this. The motors are really, really struggling there. Right, so go to the balance test. Put it on the angle that it needs to be at, which is 15 degrees, and begin the test. Now, you can probably see that all the weights are just about missing the back motor, but only just. And this would be the problem we're trying to use this lens in it. As I said before, in other videos, I don't really think this gimbal is made for using the big 24 to 105 lenses with the EOS R. That's not to say it won't work with other ones. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see on there or not. Just put it onto auto tune. Okay. Got clearly written there, rebalancing needed. So, it doesn't work. So unfortunately, I think we're going to have to admit defeat on this, everyone. The EOS R with a 24 to 105 doesn't seem to want to work on a Ronin SC. Well, it does balance, but the eyepiece is going to catch, so it's going to limit what you can use it for. And as I said in previous videos, to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to ever use it on there. So this piece of kit, even though it's really good, and it'll probably be good for other lenses as well with the counterweights on there, um, it, it doesn't work for this. What I will do though is balance the RP on it and see if that works with it. And also I'll give this a try with the RP, see if that works with the 24 to 105. And apparently the RP is gonna be set up at 24 frames per second. I don't know if anybody's heard on that. If they have, leave a comment down below. However, there's a chap called Sydney. Now you may have noticed that he's a really good YouTuber. This is chap up here and there's a link down below to his channel. I've just watched a video on him with the Weeble S. Their new, their new gimbal, gamble, it might be a gamble after all, their new gimbal from Zion. Now, looking at it, he's a Sony guy, but he's put it on there with some big lenses, and it looks like the motor at the back, there's a bigger gap. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll work for the Canon EOS R. The only thing is, is they're not out for delivery yet, but I've got one on the way, which is absolutely awesome. So as soon as it arrives, I'll do an initial review of it, and actually see whether or not the Canon EOS R 24 to 105 will work on it. And then all you people who actually want to use that lens on it will be able to think, do you know what? I'll go for that rather than the Ronin SC. However, personally, I love the Ronin SC because of the quality of it. I do like the build of it and everything else, but let's see what that Weeble's like. Give it a go. I did used to own one and I used to like what it did. It was nice and small and compact and you can throw it in your bag and take it anywhere with you. So when that arrives, I'll get that done for you. That's it for today. If you've got any comments whatsoever, please leave them down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, hit the subscribe. And if you've got any questions to do with any of the gimbals, any of the gear that I'm using, don't forget hashtag WW. That's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Cheers and gone. In a sec. Never end up going east. Video on which when lenses, lenses which lenses it even works with. Now, if you keep going north, you'll all...
the LSR with the 25, 24 even.